everybody, this is William from the Godzilla Files coming at you today with another figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the classic Imperial Godzilla and King Kong. Um, these two are one of my favorites. I've had them since I was a kid. They were both probably my first Godzilla toy and also King Kong um, figure as well. Some things, um, I, you know, before I started I kind of looked up Imperial just to kind of get some you know, background on them and stuff like that. Surprisingly, they're actually still making toys. I thought they had probably closed their doors. Um, but for the most part, they've always been famous for rubber toys like rubber snakes, spiders, bats, whatever, you know, those all those animals that you kind of see, like almost like the Animal Planet figures. Um, that's what they were most famous for. Nowadays, they're making kind of novelty items. Um, but they do have the license for like Star Wars, um, Marvel and Disney in general so you know they're still making stuff which is kinda cool I'm always happy to hear that um, companies are still making things you know it's not just one or two companies out there um, but yes yeah, so why don't we get started let's look at these figures um, and we're gonna start with King Kong so Kong here um, looks great. He is based off, at least in my opinion, off his appearance in the 1934, um, his original film. Um, you know, it looks great, you know, it, especially his face. It almost looks like when, you know, they do close-ups of the big animatronic face. Um, I do definitely see it. Um, you know, he's great. I, I can't say anything more. Um, King Kong figures are a little bit more difficult to find than let's say Godzilla figures um, and I think a lot of it just has to do with the licensing um, you know no one really knows who owns Kong Universal does but then also some other people do it, it's a complete mess so for a very long time he was kind of the only figure you can get and so you know that's one of the reasons why I still have him one of the reasons why I still like him a lot um, you know, there were no real Kong figures being made, at least when I was young, that I can remember. So he definitely fits. Um, you know, they did use the mold a couple of times. Um, there are different versions of Kong from Imperial. Um, mostly just the difference in, like, eye color and also, like, the teeth and kind of this area. Sometimes it might be, like, almost like a blood stain or something like that. Um, you know, no real changes, um as far as the figure itself goes. Now, you know, he is taller than the 6-inch Godzilla. Um, you know, he's kind of like in between the 6-inch and 12-inch. So he does not scale <clears throat> with either figure at all, if that's something you're interested in. Um, I know when I was a kid, it didn't really care to me. Um, you know, just looking at this guy now, it's amazing <clears throat> that he's survived you know, as long as he has with me, you know, these figures I have taken from everywhere, you know, uh, to the beach, to a friend's house, to the pool, wherever, outside, doesn't matter. Um, I usually took them with me to play with, you know, <clears throat> so the fact that he still, his paint job is still actually holding up just kind of does show that, well, yes, these might not be as detailed as, let's say, the newer figures of the Bandai's, um, the X Pluses, you know, even let's say trend masters, they still hold up, um, and there is detail to these figures. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna say there aren't, um, <clears throat> especially here in the body. You can kind of see it looks like fur. You know, it's just little details, but it's still you know still really good for the time. And I believe he was released back in like '85 with Godzilla. So, you know, when you look at figures from that time period. You know, they weren't as as they are now. Like, you can see behind me, like, my Titanosaurus and Hedorah. The, the amount of detail is insane now on figures. You know, you weren't getting that back in the day. Um, so it's pretty good. You know, his arms do go up. You know, they pretty much go up to about here. <clears throat> um, they can go back a little bit further, but there's so much resistance that I don't even bother. Now, the one thing looking at this figure now that I'm not particularly I don't particularly like is there are lines and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it all throughout his body and you can see it like it was like glued um, it's on his arms legs chest 
you know, everywhere. And, you know, looking at things now, you know, obviously it's more detailed. You know, you don't get this in your figures now. Um, and again, it just shows you the difference of how they make figures now. Um, you know, that's maybe my biggest complaint with this figure. But again, when I was a kid, when I had this, I didn't care. It was great. It was King Kong. You know, I used him to fight uh, the dinosaurs that I was playing with. Because um, he matched up pretty well with all the dinosaurs that I had. Um, so, you know, great figure. You know, definitely would recommend trying to find him if you can. He is on eBay. His prices do vary depending on what you're trying to get. So good luck. Um, I wouldn't spend more than like $30 on this guy, personally speaking. Now, um, I've had him since I was a kid. So this is probably like $5 for my mom or dad. But um, I wouldn't pay more than 30 all right, so that's Kong. Great figure. Um, but now let's get to the king of the monsters, Godzilla. And here we go. The big G himself. Um, this is my one of my hands-down favorite figures from my childhood. Maybe next to um, my Toy Biz Carnage um, that I got. You know, he... This Godzilla went everywhere with me. Um, you know, I s still have him from when I first got him from my birthday. And, you know, I I can't say more. I love this guy. I think he's great. Um, some things to point out. He isn't based off any Godzilla, you know, suit or anything like that. Like how, you know, the x Pluses or Bandai's are. This is just to give you a representation of Godzilla. And it does an extremely good job in that. You know, when you look at him, you see Godzilla. Now, there are some issues with it. But before we get into that, you know, some things that I really like. Just like with um, King Kong, he is detailed on the skin. You know, it's all done very nicely. His dorsal plates are also done. They have, they have texture. It's not just, you know, silver um, pieces of plastic. They actually try to, you know, they rough around the edges and different things like that. Um, his tail, very long. Um, like that a lot. You know, if I was going to compare him to any suit, I would say maybe, I don't know, there's parts of him that I would say maybe like the 62. Um, but that's just me. You know, I'm not, and maybe a mix of another one in the 70s, but I'm not sure. I, I, would, I would have to really take a look. But again, he's not based off any suits, so. Um... You know, skin color is kind of a greenish mixed with a black, and then, you know, one silver spot here. Almost like, it always reminds me of, like, almost like the Superman S would be, like, right here. Or I guess a G, Super G, would be right there. Um, you know, again, I, I think a lot of the reason why this is green is just because most people thought for a very long time that Godzilla was green. Um, even though we knew he wasn't at that point, that is the common feeling of Godzilla, is that he's a green giant lizard you know dinosaur monster so naturally he would be green whatever you know not to end the world um it doesn't bother me all that much the one area that does bother me though is right here the lips um i understand what they were trying to go with you know it's like kind of trying to make it you know like blood on his mouth like he just ate something or someone <laughs> you know what i mean like granted we've never seen that before in any godzilla film um you know so this part here it does look bad like it just looks like someone ran lipstick through it um you know there's nothing you can do about it though you know at the end of the day it doesn't make or break the figure in any which way um you know i love him my jaw is a little messed up but Considering how old this guy is, you know, again, he's 85. Um, you know, you can, I doubt you guys can see this, um, but on here, on the feet, there are the, um, you know, like the details of it, like Imperial, yeah, 1985, Toho, made in, made in China. Um, so, you know, yeah, it looks like he got punched by Kong right here, but that's okay. Um, arms move like Kong, also the legs move. Um, you know, for a very long time I used to put him in front of my door and just have him hold up, hold my door open when I was a kid to my room. Um, you know, overall, I love this guy. 
one of my favorite figures, like I was saying. Um, I used him for everything. You know, this was my Godzilla until Trendmaster, and then after Trendmaster came, you know, like Bandai and X Plus. Um, but this guy will always have a special place, you know, in my collection just because <clears throat> he was my first. And I do think he does deserve a spot in the collection. I think he is interesting enough and he does catch people's eyes when they do, when they are looking at everything. Um, so, you know, definitely worthy of getting a spot in the collection if you're looking at him. He is on eBay. Um, you know, eBay prices are kind of strange. I'm, you know, I'm not really sure how he goes for, but um, I would definitely recommend picking him up if you haven't already. Um, so really, finally, you know, here they're here they are together. You know, can't really have that epic King Kong versus Godzilla match that everyone would wanted, but you know, still cool either way. Um, fortunately, it's almost like that meme, you know, with the expectation versus reality with Godzilla versus King Kong. Um, but yeah. As I said, guys, um, some of my favorite figures, they're classic, um, and I would definitely recommend, so, so, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I will be talking to you all later. Bye.